It's a short track here in uh, Sea Otter with Amanda Sin, who just came in. How's it feeling out there? Oh, the course was great. Uh, there's a lot of fun uh, gravel and sand sections and uh, some fast open sections. So yeah, it was a good course overall. Now this is, this is more of a, like a, almost a cross country course, or uh, not cross country, but um, cyclocross course almost. Yeah, same more similar to that. Yeah, yeah. How, how does that feel for you? Uh, I find it a bit tougher. I, I think these this isn't uh, natural for me, like sandy, fast corners that made me realize I should work on that a bit more, but uh, it's fun. I, I enjoy it and it, there's a fun uh, section with some rollers and um, little like bumps and stuff in it, so it made it fun. Does this course help you in your further training for other races? Oh, for sure. Just to have to go this fast and like have the other racers around to always be pushing and just trying to get a little bit more speed and power and, and just realizing like, oh, I wasn't as fast at that corner as I need to be. So I found like, that's always fun racing short track. Yeah, it's true. And this is a very radically different course than the other one, which you have a lot more kills. Yeah. Um, as far as strategy is concerned, is it a completely different strategy to race this one than the prior? It's a bit different because you can't really uh, just depend on the hill to be able to make passes. You really need to be like quick and uh, when you get the opportunity just seize it and, and get past. Mm -hmm. So the hill gives you, it's a bit slower so you have a bit more opportunity to, to pass. Right. How did the weather play today? It's overcast, it's cool. Did, uh, and comparison to other years where it's been hot and sweaty and there's a lot of attrition? Yeah, it was nice. It wasn't uh, dusty and you weren't melting at the start line. So yeah, it was much, I guess, uh, easier easier race conditions than yeah, having that heat. Amanda, you're one of the uh, you're one of the elderly statesmen of, of, of the peloton here. Um, with advice for other Canadians, are you able to help them at all with strategy or just with uh, when it comes into pressure situations? Do they come for you for advice? Um, yeah, sometimes. Um, and yeah, I like working with, with them as well. I learn a lot from the younger riders and I found we all have worked together the last few years to, to push ourselves technically and, and um, to work together as a team. So it's if I have any advice I can help with, that's great, but they equally um, help me too. So yeah, it's great having the teammates. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's a big race for you as well. Um, what is your motivation for tomorrow and what is your strategy? Uh, I think it's going to be cool how it's a bit of a longer race, so I think that'll be fun. I'll have to maybe pace, think about pacing a bit more um, compared to the normal like hour 30 cross country race. But yeah, I think just go and, and ride and have fun and yeah, it's it's fun. We rode the course yesterday and yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. No, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, for the future in 2014, what's your next big race and what are you gearing for? Um, next race we're going to is Whiskey 50 in a couple weeks in Arizona, so that's always a really fun time. I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, the first Canada Cup in Mount Tremblant and then the European World Cups after that. So those will be my, my first big goals for the season and looking forward to that. Good luck. See you Thank tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks.